Mass Effect Andromeda, that's where Eamon played. I'm on the universe after all. Don't put the blame Sana. on me. Yeah. That's another song that got in, that came up uh, because of memes, even though it was like popular before. Make well. your own kind of music. Sing your oh, special yeah. song. Alright, let's start. Hello everyone, my name is Joshua and I am here today with my co-worker and also our peer supervisor, Jesus. And that one right there is Donovan. First of all, thank you guys for joining me in this episode of You Flying TV and also You Flying Podcast that's called Hell Aloud. In today's episode, we are going to talk about pseudoscience. First, I just wanted to ask you guys what do you guys think about pseudoscience? What what do you think pseudoscience are? So as far as I know, right? Pseudoscience is like science but not really. <laughs> that really <laughs> almost explains it. science. Almost science. It wants to be science, but eh. so it's like a study that's somewhat based in science, but I say that and then uh, I look at the I looked at the script and I was like, wait, not these aren't really based on any science. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um well I think the term comes from the actual the actual term that it's science itself. It's just like a practice of methods and researches that follow that guide in order to come out like to prove and study hypotheses that become theories and laws mm -hmm. so uh, pseudoscience it's a belief system or a practice that claims to have scientific research but at the same time it doesn't have any science evidence mm. and I think the most famous one now it's astrology which is a big one especially like in Gen Z millennial kind of stuff certainly got more problems got more attention yeah, yeah. people that hasn't finished high school people who aren't adults <laughs> exactly uh things like that um so that that's why it's called pseudoscience see the reason why why that like that word trips me up is the word science and the like the whole name like not because not because of like belief and stuff but for example computer science what when you when you say what? <laughs> like generally when you think of science it's like okay in the study of something based around fact, right? Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, 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 and yeah, also, sure, sure. the fact that they, they use like research methods to come out yeah. with protocols. And mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so when you hear pseudoscience, you're like, okay, based around fact, but not quite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's that's how I process the word term. Yeah. I guess based on studies, like yeah, engineering. I think that would be more appropriate. Like engineering. Yeah. Because again, computer science to me, does, it just sounds weird. Because like, how, what's what's the science behind? Just that's that's science. That's I mean, science, science is binary, right? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I don't know. To me, the word science is more like mitochondria, <laughs> chemistry, geology. Geology is a science. Penguins, stuff like that. I don't know, <laughs> like actual studies of something the terrible. world or yeah, yeah nature, but like. Computer it science. Thinks, when it comes to like the second part of the world, be actually related to more like natural stuff. Yeah. Or something that's already there, something that is not human produced. Yeah. Perfect. I think it's weird for computer science specifically because that is entirely man-made. Man, yeah. Yeah. Mm. That, that's so it's like biology isn't obviously isn't man-made. It's just how we perceive how things mm. are built up together. Yeah. So. And, and meanwhile, computer science is like we builds it up ourselves so we define its rules right so, yeah yeah it's a good definition and, and in binary there's only ones and zero yeah in your nightmares there's a two. Oh shit let's see if you get that <laughs> reference <laughs> we'll be putting it right here <laughs> i already kind of talk about like the first mini part of this video and it's astrology we gonna talk more in depth about this pseudoscience 
simply because it is really, really out there. I wanted to say important, but I mean, importance. It, it gives people character, yeah, but yeah, yeah, I wouldn't yeah. necessarily yeah. say it's a good one, <laughs> right? So yeah. Um, again, what do you guys think astrology is? Well, I mean, based on my limited knowledge, it's the it's the idea, it's the study of traits as determined by the alignment of freaking planets or something like that. Yeah, 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 something like and that. And how your birth month apparently has a has bearing on your entire character. Yeah, I think yeah. Until some, some, you die. Yeah, yeah, similar to that. I think the astrology is like people who dictate their lives based on stars and the universe and things like that. Basically, birthday racism. Right. Your birthday <laughs> racist. Um. Well, Chat GPT defined astrology <laughs> oh, as oh, to believe the positions and movement of celestial bodies at the time of your personal person's birth can influence their personality, life events, and future. It is con considered a sacred science because no scientific evidence support its claims. That makes sense. Yeah. It does. Completely. So science, but not quite. Yeah. It just doesn't have evidence. Things like that, right? Mm -hmm. um, astrology has been part of the social movement since many years ago. That's nothing new. Uh, most people at home should think like, oh, maybe like the end, the 18th century, things like that. Well, no, it, it actually goes back all Later the way on. to ancient Egypt, where they think the night sky was a person, like a god. Yeah. Right. Mm. And they think, everything. Yeah. they think that the stars kind of influence the, your future, pretty much your future. Uh, it's in so the Elden it, Ring lore. Yeah. It was settled that. For like kingdoms, uh, well, well, for kings, wait, how do you call kings? Oh, pharaohs, 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 yeah. For them, like the alignments of stars when they were birthed means like something completely different, and like they will actually rule well or bad depending on the stars. The stars are lined up this way, you are destined for fortune, yeah, you're destined to die. <laughs> Damn. Or your lessons to be That's in love sad. with two person and give your whole kingdom to one empire. Astrology has a long story dating back to the ancient civilizations such as Babylon, Greece, Greece and um, Egyptians. Uh, in the past, astrology was often used to make predictions and to understand the relationship between different celestial bodies and events. Uh, astrology is a story of the movement of like celestial bodies and how that influenced people and Earth. And Mm. Astrology can be tracked all the way to Mesopotamia, where it was used to predict uh, seasonal changes at the movement of the stars. So they, in particular, think or like thought that the movement of stars and all that influenced not on people but uh, on agriculture and like uh, politics and military strategies. So they actually asked the star if if it was okay to like uh, harvest or not. Oh crap. Yeah. So the stars were like a giant eight ball? Yeah. So they were pretty much like, oh no, that corn field, it's a Capricorn, we're not gonna have this day. Oh my Things god. Like they would shake the eight ball and say, should I ask my girl out? <laughs> Don't take a chance on it. What girl? <laughs> no. What girl? The, the girl worst thing the she can side. say is no. Yeah. The girl. You. Screenshots. <laughs> Um, the Babylonians were in the first to divide to divide the sky into two, uh, 12 sections, which they call the zodiac. They I believe saw. that the position of the stars and planets in the zodiac at the time of person's birth could influence the personality and destiny. So that was part of Babylonians' belief. Then there was Egyptians' belief, where like uh, when it comes to zodiac signs uh, and astrology. The belief that already the, the belief that Egyptians used was already the Babylonians one. So mm. they still have these twelve sections of the sky or where like the zodiac things like that. Mm. They believe that the zodiac constellations and stars and planets were connected to the gods and goddesses, and they used astrology to predict the future and make like important decisions, just like any other culture. The Egyptians priests 
were particularly skilled in astrology as they used to predict the floating of Nile, uh, which was essentially for agriculture. They also used astrology to determine the best time for it, for their religion festival, etc. So, and and so those, those 12 signs that the Babylonians used, those are the 12 signs that we still use today, right? I don't think so. They're not? M most of the names that we use now come from Rome. Oh, so just okay. the yeah. planets, yeah. the stars, Aries, I'm pretty sure Leo. all the zodiac's name were changed because of Rome. So you know white people were so shit. <laughs> well, um, also because the Roman Empire conquered basically everything, so yeah. we got to change history. <laughs> pretty much. Talking about white people, um, <laughs> astrology in ancient <laughs> Greece and Rome. Astrology was a popular, a popular in ancient Greece and Rome. Uh, the Greeks were particularly interested in the movement of planets and stars, and they believed that they could influence human affairs. Human what? Affairs. 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 Sorry, I speak okay. in person. You already know. <laughs> so they believed that the stars could actually change the course of time and the life of a person. Pretty much. Yeah. Uh, the philosopher Plato uh, was an advocate of astrology, and he believed the position of the stars and planets at the time of person's birth uh, could reveal important information about their characters and destiny. In Rome, astrology was used to predict the future of and make, uh, again, important decisions. The Roman emperors were particular interested in astrology and then and they often consult astrologers before making important decisions. Hmm. Um, so all the ancient civilizations, civilizations has this idea where planets, movement, celestial body movement do not actually influence on like only one person but also in the course of event of like any civilizations mm -hmm. that more like it affects all of us instead of just one person so it was more of a team mm -hmm. thing instead mm -hmm. of like okay. being independent mm -hmm. like now so instead of the stars like only dictating what happens to you basically what happens to all of us yeah mm -hmm. yeah pretty much mm -hmm. yeah so what do you think about it do you think that's true too much mushrooms or too many mushrooms i mean in that in that era like they obviously believed in gods and stuff like that so i mean i don't fault them for having having a pseudoscience of that caliber because it's consistent with everything else they believe in. Mm -hmm. See us right now, like, what are you gonna do? Meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile, right now it's a little less prevalent and I genuinely think for a lot of kids nowadays it's an excuse to do something that you're not supposed to do. Yeah, I feel like for, for that, um, well, I think I can, we can talk about this a little bit later. It's kind of like how most people use religion as an excuse to like do something. Like I can't do this, you should do this. I, you sh I can't, I should not do this, you should do this. Like stuff like that. I'm on a diet, you yeah. should not eat cookies. Yeah, so something like that. Like I would, well, I asking on a higher power to do something for you, you know? Believing that there's a higher power out there that does something for was you. Was it the Muslims that can't eat beef or was it they couldn't eat pork or uh, which one was it? I don't know. I think... I, uh, I don't know. Uh, you, you cannot eat pork. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna yes. cut this yeah. part if that's not wrong. Yeah. Uh, and then Hindus cannot eat cows. Yeah, mm -hmm. oh, well, yeah. okay, but the basic premise is, is that um, in certain religions, you are you can't do something. Mm -hmm. yeah, even yeah. though for a lot of the rest of the planet, it's mm -hmm. normalized. Yeah. Right? So, pretty much. Okay, yeah. back to the uncut. <laughs> yeah. Um, and in the Middle Ages, after all this historical civilizations, they add one more term to the to the thing astrology can do, and that's treating physical and emotional illnesses stuff. Mm -hmm. So they actually ask the stars when was the best time to cure you or how was the best time to cure you oh yeah. shit um so they can't give me medicine right now because i'm a capricorn mm -hmm. pretty much <laughs> holy crap now you see those stars yeah, on the light no. no what are you i'm not telling you <laughs> you see those stars <laughs> come you You're see those stars scorpion. come back next scorpion. wednesday <laughs> i lied i'm not a scorpio yeah, no. i'm a leo <laughs> so that's, that's <laughs> a leo. Leo. Huh? which one's leo 
Which one's Leo? The one in the, I don't know. The one that looks like a sperm. Is that the one that looks like, <laughs> looks like sperm? I yeah, Leo, yeah, it is the one. I think Leo, Leo looks like a lion, right? Really? Leo. Yeah. Are you sure it's not the one that has the sperm? <laughs> what? I swear, I swear it's the one with the sperm. <laughs> Yeah. I, I swear have, I it's have the never seen a Leo. Okay. There's a sign with the sperm. It has to be Leo. Yeah, I, I have never seen Leo and then a sign of sperm next to it. All right. Come on, man. Never Come on. in my Come life. On, <laughs> okay, but there is, there is a, there is a sign with a sperm on it. Well, let me. Look I do know up. that. It's gotta be. All right. Uh, I'm putting the sperm, the sperm Putting the sperm aside, uh, let's talk about astrology in the modern era. Uh, astrology continued to be popular during like Renaissance. 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 And many fa famous scientists and thinkers include Galileo and Kepler. Thought he was interested and they still believe in it. However, as past scientific knowledge of plants. Uh, astrology becomes less popular and less inc increasingly seen uh, as a like unscientific un and su superstitious. Mm. Big word, I know. <laughs> Today, astrology is still practiced by many people around the world, but it is often viewed as a form of entertainment rather than a serious scientific practice. From there, we got many aspects of modern astrology when it comes to like calendar astrology, cult cultural astrology, because we have to know that we not only have Roman uh, astrology, which is like the Western astrology, we also have like Chinese astrology and all the other stuff. They have their own rules and their own belief and their own aspects of it, and also their own calendar. Now, before we jump into a different type of astrology, do you guys believe in astrology? No. And Not why? really. Not really. And why? Um. Not that I don't believe. Well, one of the things that I don't believe in is, uh, and this is gonna sound kind of corny, fate. 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 Destiny. Destiny. You know, like all oh, your destiny. Like your life is predetermined. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's what I don't believe in. Yeah. And so because. Mainly because I don't like the belief that I'm, I'm not in control of my own life. That's what I don't believe in. Mm -hmm. And because the whole astrology thing kind of predetermines 12 different personalities that you could possibly have throughout your life. Yeah. And that's going to be your personality through the, your entire life. I, that's why I don't believe in it. I mean, I just don't believe in it because as we initially said it's not based around any fact it's just for most for the most part coincidences and superstition yeah mm. and if you boil it down it's just like you can't look at astrology and be, be and, and read it as you well, you can read it as you if you are basic human trait you are a gemini and it's just like wow that mm. might pertain to 98 percent of people that read it that might pertain to to no one but the problem it's not them be having this particular trait doesn't make them a Gemini or anything. It just means they have this particular trait and some people won't. Yeah. That's it. Also, the fact that you, are you going to tell me that 8 billion people in the world are only divided into 12 different traits? 12 like houses. 12 different, yeah, 12 houses, 12 Apple personalities. Like, Slithering. Damn. I don't think we're that, you know, in common. <laughs> we have that much stuff in common. It's true. We had a similar system, but that system was based around wealth. And it yeah. was the difference between a noble and a commoner. <laughs> yeah. That's the only that's the only discrimination that can really be determined at birth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pretty yeah. much. Mm -hmm. Um and I know you guys at home are waiting for my opinion. No, I don't believe in astrology. Uh not because it is astrology, but because I have a pretty a strict belief and confidence when it comes to divine stuff i'm really not into like homocentrism stuff or like any belief put humans in the center of it and makes everything else works for the human or by the human or made for the human mm. things like that so that includes includes astrology okay. and what i mean by this is like we are in a dusty little planet on a solar system, on a mini section of a galaxy, 
in a universe of like billions of galaxies mm -hmm. and then the fact that little lights that we you know see that we're not even sure that they are there because you know light travels different affect us and only us as one species of billion species in the planet it's it's pretty like egocentrical mm -hmm. it has a lot of ego on it and i, I mean, don't like that i mean you, if, from I a very broad that. perspective it's like yeah because of what we are you can think that we're the center of the universe you can think that we're not the center of the universe yeah. because we at, just as it happens like scientifically we've outlived a lot we've evolved a lot more than anything else on our planet yeah mm -hmm. plain and simple so fun much. fact the lights that you see on the stars are the stars that blew up a million years ago anyways mm -hmm. i want to say that <laughs> uh, for people that you, you talked about something about believing in um can you repeat what you said like not believing in prison yes because it's kind of it's kind of strange, no? That some people would believe on a certain ideology, but not believe in another, even though they have similar Same traits. Yeah, I was gonna say. So, for example, let's uh, say you 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 believe in God, right? In a God, like Christian, so, how Christianity is divided between capitalism. Well, that's the friend, though. No, I think he meant it like how how like during. His, like human history there are many profiles and characters that are like have the same natural precedence but mm -hmm. still people don't believe in them it's like you don't believe in Zeus but you still believe in a Christian God mm -hmm. which pretty much the same yeah that's what I'm trying that, to say like you, be like you believe in a in a set of rules in an ideology in a being that dictates your life but you don't want to believe in astrology which is a set of rules of an ideology with a higher being that dictates your life like yeah. basically the same thing so you believe in you believe in god but you don't believe in another god a different yeah god. yeah on, on a different on a different thing so that's why I mean, it's kind of strange what i'm saying religions just work in general it's just like you have a belief that's confined to a specific set of rules that was made for that belief and likewise there's probably another belief that's also confined to its own set of rules and doesn't include your beliefs yeah mm -hmm. i sure that we're gonna put a hole in that because we're gonna go into religion later because it's actually part of like a serious science. Yeah. Um, but to finish astrology stuff and like you know, to be done with it, <laughs> we're gonna talk about like uh type of astrology. So oh, shit, since flavors. the begin since I know right. <laughs> so <laughs> since the beginning too. until now, we have been talking about astrology and it's pretty much the movement of the stars and how the planet affects you. Um, we relate astrology with only one type of astrology, which is the, which is the Western one, where there's Capricorns, there's a chart, you have a sun and a moon, and like, depends on like, what time of the day, and like, shit like that, yeah. you were like determined to have a kind of chart. Um, that's Western astrology, right? Mm -hmm. And it's most, it's the common one. Right, and then it's a little common one for us because for it's us, translated into English. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It views the position of the moon, the stars, what time you were born, the part of the planet you were born, things mm -hmm. like that to build you a chart. What it does is like it divides people in not only 12 categories, mm -hmm. it divides in many because even though we were born, we are like, this kind of sounds so bad. Then even though we are Aries, Aries, yeah. Because you were born a day before, you have a different chart than me, and therefore you have a different personality. Sweet things like that. Oh my That's God. modern hor horoscopic they astrology. They just added another dimension to it. Pretty much. They went from two D to three D. They, they went from they went just from like, like <laughs> one, two, three, four, five until twelve to one, one point zero one, oh one point zero yeah. one. One, one, oh two, there is one, only one. three. There is only three questions on this test. One, one A, one B, one yeah. C. <laughs> Things like oh that. Crap. 